Hello everybody! Hello everybody! I am Natalia and I'll be teaching you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Meet my son. What's your name? I am Daniel. How old are you? I'm seven. Daniel is only seven and he can already solve the Rubik's Cube. Do it! Yeah. Let's go! First I need to mix up the cube. So I'm thinking the cube is ready. Let's begin! Good luck, Daniel! I invite you to my website rubikscubekids.com. It's a free tutorial for kids. After this course you will be able to solve the Rubik's Cube. Just 8 steps, layer by layer, no complicated formulas, video lessons and simple schemes only, always available for you on our website. If you will learn how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, you will be able to solve different incredible shape modes, such as the Master Morphics, Axis Cube, and this cube has been solved. It's an Axis Cube before. Look at that! It's a twisty cube. It's really so interesting form. And this one, a mirror cube. Ready? Yeah! Great! Our congratulations! Tell me, please, what's your personal time record? 34 seconds. When you stop to use the schemes? I don't remember. Maybe after one or two weeks. What's the next cube have you solved? This one. It's a mirror cube. Also, Daniel can solve this apple cube and a lime cube too. We invite you to join us. Welcome to the world of puzzles. You will always be the focus. Improve your logic and brain. Welcome to our tutorial. I'll be so happy to see you at my first lesson. See you there. Bye-bye. Let's explore some basics and background info and how to use our schemes. This is a 3 by 3 cube. The cube has six sides, each with a different color. The cube has three layers. The first layer is on the bottom, the second layer or the middle layer, and the last layer is on the top. Now, let's take the cube and check out the components of the puzzle. You will notice there are three different types of pieces on the cube. The first type of piece is called the center piece. The center has only one color. There are six centers in total and the centers don't move relative to each other. For example, no matter how much I mix up the cube, the yellow side will always be opposite of the white side. The green opposite blue and red opposite orange. The color of the center tells you what color the entire side should be. For example, when the cube is solved, the white side will be here because this side has a white center. It will be a yellow side, blue, red, orange and green. The second type of piece is an edge. The edge has two colors. An edge always fits between two centers. For example, this blue and red edge fits between the blue and red centers. The third type of piece is a corner. The corner is a part of three sides and has three colors. This corner is red, blue and yellow, fits between the red, yellow and blue centerpieces. Before starting you should check your cube. The cube should be correct. What does it mean? Take the cube. If the white center is on the top, the yellow center should be opposite of the white. Then the orange center, green, red and blue. On our side you will find simple schemes for each of the eight steps. Now let's talk about how to use our schemes and how to turn the cube. Now I show you how to move the top layer. Turn left, turn right. Look at the bottom layer over here. Turn left, turn right. Right side up, right side down. 
left side up, left side down. Now I show you one more action. It's the front side. The front side is always in front of you. Turn the front side clockwise and turn the front side counterclockwise. Now we know basic rules, how the paddle works and how to turn. So you know all the necessary info to start solving the Rubik's Cube. Let's take a look at the first step and apply our knowledge. The third step will be solving a daisy. The third step is called a daisy because daisy has a yellow center and white petals. Really, looks like a daisy. Take the cube so that the yellow center should be is on the top. Turn the cube as shown. Look for edges with white color. Remember, the edges have two colors. At this step could be three possible situations. The first situation when the white edge is on the middle layer. In this situation we need only one move. If the white edge is on the right side, turn the right side up. The edge on the left side up too. The second situation when the white edge is on the bottom layer or is on the top layer. I'm going to do the next move. Turn the front side clockwise. Now the edges are on the middle layer and we already know what need to do. But as you can see these places are taken. We need to free the spot because there are already white edges. The top layer turn left. There are no more white edges on the top and we can easily move edges from the middle layer up. The right side up and the left side up too. The third situation when the white edge is on the white side and looks down. Here it is. If the white edge is on the white side, do next actions. Turn this side clockwise two times, but as you can saw this place is taken and we already know what to do next. This edge should place there. So again we need to free the spot. We just need to turn the top layer, there is a free spot and with a double turn we move it up here. One. Two. So, the third stage is completed. Simply, right? See you in the next lesson. RubiksCubeKids.com Step 2. See you again! Last lesson we learned how to make a daisy. The next step is gonna be solving the white cross. A complete full white cross should look like that. The white cross over here and the second part of the white edges also matches the centerpiece color. Take the cube. The daisy should be is on the top. Look at the white edge and check the second color. For example, it's blue. Look at the edge and rotate two bottom layers. We are looking for a blue center. Now the blue edge is corresponding with the blue center. Let's turn the front side clockwise twice. One, two. As you can see, that blue and white edge fits between white and blue centers. It's right position of the edge. Now let's spin the cube one more time and find this white green edge. I'm going to find a green center. Rotate the two bottom layers and match this edge with the green center. Let's turn the front side clockwise twice. One, two. Now this white green edge fits between white and green centers. We have to do the same actions with the last edges. Look at the white red edge. Rotate the two bottom layers and find the red center. When the red center matches with the red edge, 
Turn this side clockwise two times. One, two. The edge in the correct position because it's near with the white center and the red center piece. Do these actions last time with the white orange edge. Rotate to bottom layers again. Match the orange edge with the orange center. Then turn this side clockwise twice. One, two. Now the white orange edge is in the correct position and fits between white and orange centers. Let's check the white cross. If you did everything correctly, you should have a white cross and the second color of the white edges should be near the same color centers. The red edge is ok, the blue edge is near the blue center, the orange edge is near the orange center and green edge is in the correct position too. The second stage is completed. See you in the next lesson. Welcome to my site rubikscubekids.com Step 3. See you there! If you have any questions, watch this lesson one more time and ask me your question in the comments below. If you like this lesson, like it and please subscribe to my channel.